Molly. You've been fed, you've been changed, and now it's time for you to shut those little eyes and go to sleep. Hello again. I thought I'd put up another piece of Molly's set today for her nativity scene, and we're gonna do Mary next. Mary's my favorite character, and not only because she's a mother like me now, but she's the mother of Jesus. And I'm pretty sure she had some scary mother moments back in that day, didn't she, hmm? But the best thing about her being a mom was that she got to be the mama of Jesus. And the angel came to her and told her this. And even though she was probably terrified, she knew that as long as she trusted God, everything would be all right. And then she got to see him grow into an amazing young man and spread the word of his father and get ready to save us all from our sins. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did. And Mary is probably so happy to be able to watch her little bundle of joy grow up. And I can't wait to watch this little bundle of joy grow up too. But here's sixth grade to tell you even more about Mary and her visit with the angel. Welcome to another episode of CBN, Christian Broadcast Network. My name is Andrew Stolman with Anthony Parker, accompanied by Jonathan Harrison. We will be broadcasting a story from the Bible. Duh, Sherlock. No, you Sherlock. I'm no Sherlock. Who says? Uh, me? Ha, Sherlock. Guys, guys, I'm still here. Shut it, Sherlock. But we're live! Oh. Oops. Um, can we delete this? No. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, uh, on to the show! A long time ago, in this same galaxy, in the small city of Nazareth, a girl, woman, maybe even a teenager, don't know which, was at the well washing her plates when an angel named Gabriel appeared and talked and talked and talked. Then, <laughs> guys, wake up! Oh, 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 sorry. I'm trying to see the actual scene. This is boring. Jonathan, will you give us an intro? Yes, sir, but Jonathan? I want to then Fine, 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 fine. Now, for this next part, I will continue telling you the story, but not in such a boring way. So, Mary is a teenager. But I thought you didn't know if she was a girl, a woman, or a teenager. Well, while you two were talking, this guy in the back told me she was a teenager. Oh, okay. Um, carry on. So, she was just having a usual day when all of a sudden an angel of the Lord appeared. An angel of the Lord appeared. His name was Gabriel. Ah! <laughs> Hello to you too. I'm Gabriel. Uh, sorry. I was not expecting to see an angel tonight. Angel, right? That's what you are? Um, yeah. I mean, I thought the wings and the halo kind of gave it away. All right, Mary, I'm gonna cut to the chase here. I have some big news. Okay. And I don't know how you're gonna handle it. You humans are sort of, um, how do I say, fragile? I mean, like, no offense. This is just pretty important. You're starting to scare me. What is it? Okay, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> you know, all this buildup is kind of annoying. Can you just tell me? I'm sorry, I just. <clears throat> <clears throat> you're gonna have a baby. What? And, um, God said that he's going to be, like, um, the son of God. And, oh, you're going to call him Jesus, and he's going to be, like, the savior of the world or something. Want to write this down? But don't fear. The Lord will be... Thank you. I will do it. What? I said I will do it. Um, mm, I will trust in the Lord. Are you not getting this? I, um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm just in shock because, well, I've never done this sort of thing before, and I thought you would, like, run away or something. But for the record, I mean, you really didn't have a choice. This is like God's, the like God's command. Um, okay, I will do it. I will trust in the Lord. I will carry this child. Okay then, so, as you were. I'm making dinner soon. Would you care to join me? Oh, I would love to, but God said I have to leave, like, right after I tell you the news. I say you still get to be on Earth that often, but when we do, we can't, like, stay for long. I appreciate the offer, though. I understand. Goodbye, Gabriel. You know, I do still have a couple questions about this whole baby thing. Oh, he's gone. Oh, you good? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, 
Sorry, never mind. Uh, Mary has on her shoulders now. Just imagine. An angel of God standing in front of you and says that you're going to have the Son of God. <laughs> Don't ever scare me like that. And now that that's done, you know what that means. We have to move over to Jonathan. Boring, though it may be. Thanks, but that boring part wasn't needed. Sure it was. But luckily, you don't have to listen to me. We're moving to our first on-the-spot reporter, Josh. He is... What's going on over there, Josh? But I wasn't done explaining... Thanks, Anthony. Here we are at the scene with a witness who saw this crazy incident. My first question for you, what did this so-called angel look like? It was glowing white and had a halo over its head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's what he said. He said that. Yeah, uh-huh. I was there. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, I okay. Anyways, my next question for you, how did this angel appear? It just appeared out of... Okay, next question is for the mic holder. Were you here the whole time when this happened? Oh, so you're not a witness. What are you doing here? I'm trying to make people be able... Okay, thanks. I'm trying to make people be able to hear you. Well, why didn't you just say that in the first place? I try, never mind. Okay. Back to where we were, before we were so rudely interrupted. My next question is, what was Mary's reaction to this random event? She was astonished when the angel came and told... <laughs> I'm done. Uh, so he's gone. Okay. My next question for you, Mr. Witness. By the way, my name is... Cool. So, Mr. Witness, what was the message this angel was telling Mary? I couldn't tell what the angel was saying. It just didn't make sense. He said something like, he will be great and will be the son of God, and the spirit will come on you and his power will rest on you. I have no clue what that means, but okay. So, yep, that's what he said. I was there the whole time. Yep, we were there. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. Anyways, if anybody has any clue to what this man has just said, please call CBN at News From Six. Or go to our website, sixgradersawesome.com. My next and final question for you is, do you know where they hired this Mike guy? Because boy, is he great. <sighs> and with that, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Anthony? Thank you. Thank you for that very long lecture of information. Uh, God has done some pretty spectacular and out of the blue things today. And some random guy is waving in the background. Uh, Security? Uh, Jonathan, if you promise uh, not to put us to sleep again, you can keep talking. First of all, you guys really like to interrupt <laughs> me. That's very, very true. <sighs> anyway, man, now it'd be cool to see that live. But seriously, we just got breaking news from our second on-the-spot reporter, Cecilia. She has just met another witness, Megan Beback, who saw it as well. One. Yeah, the witnesses are overwhelmed with confusion right now. Most of their accounts this instant are completely scattered, but... Well, light on my Christmas tree, we have a witness. Ma'am, 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 come here and tell me everything you saw and tell me now. I was just going outside to get some fresh air when I saw something glowing out of the corner of my eye. And what would you say this was? It looked like it had wings. And then it just started talking. I thought it might have been an alien bird. You know how the government is trying to cover up that type of stuff. Anyway, all I heard it say was pregnant and to name it Jesus. Very interesting. Um, I've heard a concert of conspiracy theorist. How would you react to this? I would say the government made them say that. Oh, you know, I forgot to feed... To feed the what? Government official! Wait! Here's Great job, Cece. I think God's angels are pretty miraculous, as is he. Well, um, looked like this turned out pretty well. Mary was scared half to death when she was told she was going to have the Son of God. That's it for today's broadcast. Tune in later for the next episode. Hope you enjoy and see you soon back on CBN. Bye. Bye. Yeah.